Moving into your own place is exciting. It's also expensive. That's going to end up costing me £4,000. Stuff that mum and dad took care of, mainly bills, is now down to you. Any idea where to start? Let's see how Joe and Tom get on as they move into a new flat. We've set them a challenge. Find out how much it costs to get the stuff you need to have. That's the basics. Uh, food so you can eat. You'd like to have. Dishwasher, anyone? Oh, those are such a good idea. And the stuff you'd love to have. Oh, a nice big flat screen TV would do. 2,800. Oh, yeah, we can afford that. That's a long way away. Let's start with the need to haves. The boys reckon they'll have 14 grand a year coming in after tax and national insurance, also known as deductions. They'll be left with 920 quid a month to spend. So that's not so bad a month, is it? I suppose. Joe and Tom will be getting advice from Becky Wilkes. She works for National Deadline, a financial charity, and she knows a few tricks. <laughs> First job for the boys, the basics. Okay. Gas, number one. Definitely need council tax. Yes. Definitely need rent. I don't want to walk everywhere so we can get some transport allowance, like a bus pass or TV licence we need to pay if we're going to have a TV. Food so we can eat. Uh, where we're going to use the laundry down the road. Uh, that's it then. How are we going to find out how much gas costs? Um, well, we could ring around the gas companies, look in your pages, ring them up, or maybe get a quote off the internet. This is a really good idea. There are lots of websites that can compare the tariffs of different water, gas and electric companies. And don't forget, at the library, it's free to use the internet as well. Right, better go to the library. Yeah, let's go. Hi, yeah. I was just wondering if we could by any chance use the internet. Certainly, yeah. You'd just like to log yourselves on over here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Energy price Q&A, that's a good one. Discounts. £15 annual discount. You get a thing split with direct debit, pay you in advance, pay on receipt of bill, prepay a meter. Regular payment scheme. Standing order and variable direct debit, what should we do? As you can see, there are lots of different ways to pay your bills. Direct debit is quite a good option because it comes straight out of your bank account each month, so you don't have to remember to pay it. Joe and Tom have discovered that a combination of using direct debit and getting both gas and electricity from one supplier is the cheapest deal on offer. I guess I'm electricity. Well, that's 30 quid a month, isn't it? And it's one bill as well. As far as I'm aware, we won't find anything much cheaper than that. This can be a really good idea. Lots of companies do what's called dual fuel, which is when they give you a discount if you get your gas and electric from the same supplier. Next, water. And the question is, to meter or not to meter? It's all a matter of how often you might be flushing. <coughs> Four a day, down to seven, 20, 28 a week. I 28, flushes 28 flushes a week. Right, shower time. Uh, not a standard shower, not a power shower. Oh, we need a power shower. <laughs> As well as possibly being cheaper, depending on water usage, the boys could consider that getting a water meter gives you instant green credibility. About 70 times a week. 93 metres cubed of water we use. Many water companies have internet websites where there's a calculator that you can work out how much water you think you're going to use. If you think that you're going to be a light user and you're not going to use much water, it might be cheaper for you to actually get a water meter. So apparently 20, 20 quid a month. So far, then, it looks like this. 30 quid a month on gas and electricity and 20 on water. The next two bills to work out are council tax and TV licence. Utterly essential, as non-payment could lead to a spell behind bars. It's 660 a year. Uh, so, well, let's just divide that by 12 on the calculator. 660. 55 quid a month. That's I'm going to try and save money elsewhere, because that's more than I thought it would be. Council tax is expensive and it will take quite a large amount out of your budget. However, it is important that you do pay it. But some people will get discounts. Students don't have to pay council tax. And if you're living on your own, you will get a discount. It's £126.50 for a colour TV. But if it's black and white, it only costs 42 quid. Uh, well, I, well, I don't fancy a black and white TV. Oh, well, I think we can afford that. 
If you do have a television, it's important that you have a television licence. If you don't have one, then you could end up with a big fine. Transport's an essential, but with insurance, road tax and maintenance, a car's out of the question, buses look best and, as ever, if you know where to look, there's a deal to be had. Can you take it to town, please? If you're using public transport a lot, it might be cheaper for you to get a weekly pass or a monthly pass rather than paying a fare every day. Joe and Tom may invest later in a washing machine, but for now, it's likely to be the laundrette. I hope this isn't too expensive. What a bit. Excuse me. If I had just had one normal load to wash and dry, how much is that going to cost me? Uh, well, yeah, because of the two of us, yeah. If two of you, it would be 440. Yeah. Um, then we'd do a service charge of two pounds. Okay, that's excellent. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye. That's the first phase of fact finding done. How are the sums for the basics, including food and rent, working out so far? Right, let's, let's top this up. That's 30 together for them. That was 20 quid. Cast tax 55 quid. The rent's 400. Transport 100. 100. Right, so we add that up. That's 50, 105, 505, 605, 620, 700. Uh, 720, 785 quid. So that's not so bad a month, is it? I suppose. I mean... They've done really well to manage on the budget that they've got, but they need to be careful that they don't spill over into debt. They might actually be surprised at how little money they've got left to buy nice things. All right, well, we've got 920 a month between us, yeah. So 920 a month... Minus seven eight five. So we've got one hundred and thirty five pounds a month left. Between us. Between us. Looks like the like to have list might be getting a bit shorter. All right now, do what we need. Uh, like to have. Like to have. I mean, the first thing I'd quite like to have is a dishwasher, to be honest, because I, I can't stand washing a plate. TV as well. Yeah, we say a small TV. We, we'd like to have. Internet access. Uh, phone line. Oh yeah, phone line. Keep down mobile costs, I guess. Uh, maybe. Satellite, okay. Satellite cable for the TV. I mean, you can get it with broadband, can't you? You can get oh, it with yeah, the internet, it so... Is that about it? Probably is, to be honest. Packages like this can be a good idea and they can save you money, but it's important to check what you're actually buying because there might be some things that you don't actually use. Hey, there we go. Compare broadband providers. From 14.99. Uh, 14 99 for the first six months, but 17 99 thereafter. I just wonder if we can get them all integrated, like satellite and stuff. Triple plan. That's 33 quid, that's 11 quid for each thing. And then we get... Um... We'll do that then, 32 99 So, another 30 quid a month's gone on an internet package, leaving just over 100 quid a month. The electrical superstar and temptation awaits. 500 quid, 500 quid, 399. That's 400, that's not a chance that we can't afford that. Right, look at this one though, 200 quid, 200 quid, Tom. To Tom, make Tom, their Tom. money stretch, the boys are considering buying on credit so they can wash now and pay later. But this will cost. In store credit deals are often pricey. If the boys shop around, they'll get better rates. That's 200 quid, but we've only got 105 a month. But how do you tell what's a good or bad deal? Three little letters. A-P-R. I have no idea what 24.9% APR means. APR means the annual percentage rate. It's actually the cost of the agreement, the amount that you have to pay in order to borrow the money. That means you're paying a third again, doesn't it? We, well, we can't afford to pay that, that much, really. We can't afford that. Joe and Tom decide against a credit deal. They feel it's just too expensive. The laundrette will have to do for now. The boys share a pet hate washing up so a dishwasher would be great oh those are such a good idea they're well expensive yeah these are a bit pricey there's one for 179 here a full-sized one oh that's not so bad how can you pay for this one that's Same got the apr one. thing you'll end up paying more for it which we can't afford to do we're better off saving money and buying it later and making do until yeah. until then uh, they're still resisting the credit right. option and they've decided to save some of their spare cash they have each month to buy a yeah, dishwasher yeah. when they've saved and enough. TV time, TV time. Uh, this is the kind of thing we want to be looking at, isn't it? That's integrated stuff. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that's got a video player built into it. Look at that, that's 160 quid. We were quite like a TV now, that's the only thing. I mean, 160 quid, we can't, we, we won't have that in one month. That's 69 quid, and that's quite big as well. But if we wanted, that could be our first month of expenditure, you know. If they decide to take the plunge on a TV, which way to pay? I could use cash, we could use a chequebook, we could use a credit card. I've got my debit card. Uh, there are lots of different payment methods that you can use. A debit card is like paying by cash. It takes the money straight out of your bank account, whereas a credit card is like a loan agreement and you pay it at the end of each month. But there will be interest paid if you don't pay the balance in full. The boys show amazing restraint, leaving the superstar empty-handed. Let's go home, man. It's back to the flat to decide if their cunning plan to save up for what they want can be made to work. We've got 105 quid left. I reckon if we try and get a small TV for like 60 quid and then maybe start saving the rest up for a, for a dishwasher. So a dishwasher is going to be 200 quid. I mean, that's, so that's two months of saving, isn't it? Yeah, we've got to save for other stuff as well. Because we don't want to go into debt. So no, we want we to stay within the budget. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise we'll end up with all sorts of trouble. Yeah. He's right, getting into debt can lead to all sorts of problems. So if you are getting into difficulty, it's really important that you seek advice. There are lots of agencies out there that can help you and give you advice on what to do. You can get a small TV and a video thing for about 69 quid. A stereo, I mean, just a little CD player, about 40 quid, you reckon? Micro, 30 quid, that's not so much. Altogether, that's about 270. That makes 300, 340 quid. So the boys now have a saving strategy for their like-to-have items. They're sensibly avoiding debt. Can this policy stretch to their love-to-have or luxury items? We're going to have 105 a month coming in. Yeah. And if, say, we think about a six-month plan, Yeah. that's going to be uh, 630 quid in six months. Now, what we talked about, like the microwave and stuff, that all adds up to 340, which means we're going to have saved 290 quid that we can put towards our luxury items. A six month plan is a great idea. You could also open a savings account to keep your money in, but shop around because interest rates do vary. 5.05% AR. What on earth does AR mean? AER means annual equivalent rate. It's the amount of interest that will be paid on the money in your savings account. Hey, Tom, there's our luxury item over there. Oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> Should we buy that? Definitely. But, I mean, Ooh, yeah, that's, that's what I'd actually really want. 2,800. We need to get better jobs. <laughs> that's 28 months of saving it, absolutely everything into that. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a long way away. I don't know if I even want to look at it right now. <laughs> yeah, let's just forget about it. <laughs> After six months, Joe and Tom will have 290 quid, plus whatever interest that money's earned. So whilst a big plasma screen may still be out of reach, without going into debt, they do have a realistic budget and a contingency fund of around £300. That could take care of unpredictable expenses, or if nothing crops up, it could just pay for a nice one-off treat. Assuming, of course, they haven't spent it all on going out.